Remember the Wii U? Nah, us neither, because our brain's memory centers are now completely full of Breath of the Wild cooking recipes. One big weakness of the Wii U was how difficult it was for third parties to develop games for such a unique and quirky system. However, with the Switch, Nintendo seems to have crafted something a bit more workable as tons of non-Nintendo games are making their way over to it already in the console's first year. We thought we'd make a list of just some of the games that have raced onto the platform that aren't made by the House of Mario and suggest the Switch is definitely going to do better than its predecessor because it's actually, you know, got games on it. Phelps, Earl, a shooting at the 111 Club. Half a dozen shooters, sir. Real professionals. We all love a bit of Professor Layton on our various DS consoles, but how about a game where you solve various gruesome murders and read the faces of motion-captured witnesses? Rockstar classic L.A. Noir had us running around the City of Angels years ago as former Marine officer turned cop Cole Phelps, and now the game that came on two discs for the Xbox 360 is coming on a single cartridge for the Switch. If you want your crime scene investigating to include the intricate turning of possible pieces of evidence and then shouting at the witness you doubt the testimony of The evidence says that you killed her Then this is your game The idea of completing an investigation on your way to work sounds pretty neat to us and Rockstar bringing this out gives us hope for yet another round of releases for GTA 5 for instance and suggests the Switch may even get a look in when GTA 6 rolls around Overcooked is a couch co-op cooking game in which everyone works together to make dishes to order in environments so bizarre and dangerous they make the kitchen section in Ikea on a Saturday look like a sea of calm. When the Switch was announced, co-op party style gameplay was one of its big selling points and Overcooked is, in our humble opinion, the best game to make those hypothetical impromptu social gaming sessions happen, even if you don't own a swanky rooftop party garden. Come on Nintendo, who do you think we are? Give one of your Joy-Cons to a friend and you can easily start whisking up meals wherever you are. However, make sure you get on well as we recommend avoiding chef rage while out in public. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Get the fire extinguisher, Ellen. What have you done? If you play Sonic on a train, does that mean you gotta go fast as you gotta go fast? Also, does that joke work? We may never know the answer, but what we do know is that Sonic Mania, the lovingly crafted homage to the spiky hedgehog's retro roots, was a thrilling surprise when it arrived earlier this year. One of the few games in this list released on the Switch on the same day as other platforms, thanks Sega, Sonic Mania offers a challenging slice of 90s-infused platforming that's particularly notable for its brilliant music and reimagined versions of classic levels. Plus, we would say it's even better on the Switch than it is on other platforms, thanks to that sweet, sweet portability factor. Immediately following the Switch's announcement last year, the words screamed across the internet were Skyrim on a plane! <laughs> yes, finally on the Switch this winter is the fifth instalment in the Elder Scrolls series. Tamriel's iciest region will benefit from some special Nintendo items, namely a special chest of Link's gear from the Zelda series for people who own a Link amiibo. Now the Master Sword is Skyrim canon and we're all going to have to deal with that. Skyrim's not the newest game on the scene, but the Switch's portability should squeeze an extra thrill from this venerable RPG, as Dragonborns take their epic adventures with them, whether that be on a plane to another country, or the 176 bus to Penge. Ah, the sky's falling in! Oh, my mistake. It's one of those meteorites again. Cool. Minecraft isn't the only blocky builder on the Switch. If you prefer the satisfying click of a Lego brick, Lego Worlds has also been painstakingly assembled on Nintendo's console. With the Space and Monsters DLC packs already included, there's lots of stuff to play around with, making use of your weird and wonderful contraptions to make equally weird and wonderful things. Plus, our favourite thing about Lego Worlds is that it's all narrated by the brilliant Peter Serafinowicz, so you can sit in a cafe, jump into a new blocky adventure, and listen to his soothing tones as they guide you to becoming a master builder. Create completely new worlds of endless possibility. Welcome to LEGO Worlds! LEGO fans looking for an extra fix should also check out LEGO City Undercover, which squealed onto the Switch with a blaze of sirens earlier this year. This is a small town where everybody knows everybody else and their business. When a couple of strangers start snooping around, word travels fast. Earlier this year, legendary game designer Ron Gilbert made point-and-click fans very happy with the news that his studio's Kickstarter-funded Thimbleweed Park would be making its way to the Switch. 
A modern spin on classic adventure games, this pixely mystery channels Twin Peaks and X-Files, benefiting from compatibility with the Switch's touchscreen controls, which should make investigating strange goings-on in this eerie town that much simpler. If you're in the mood for old-school gaming with a modern twist and a sweary clown, well, friend, that's a pretty specific request, but this one is the one to look out for. Yeah, old lady! <laughs> The implausibly named Mario plus Rabbids Kingdom Battle might star some of your favourite classic Nintendo characters, but the addition of their long-eared compatriots is a clue that this strategy game is actually the work of French publisher Ubisoft. This delightful turn-based combat game takes its cues from the much more serious XCOM series, but transplants some of that gameplay to a rabid-infused Mushroom Kingdom. Your job is to pick a squad made up of Nintendo characters and their rabid equivalents, then storm through increasingly complex scenarios, dispatching bad rabbits with extreme prejudice. The odd bits of light puzzling act as intermissions between the fights, our favourite bits of which are watching long-range death dealer Luigi doling out the pain. Nice shot, L-Man. Nintendo consoles have a rep for going easy on the spine-ripping violence, but all the spines get ripped in Doom, the beautifully honed reboot of the long-running shooter series that originally landed last year. Graphic purists may find a few compromises as Bethesda's sprawling, ultra-brutal shooter gets squeezed onto the tiny Switch, but it might be worth it for being able to perform gut-churning glory kills while you wait at the post office. You know Nintendo's ARMS, the spring-loaded fighting game? Well, one character who would definitely not be able to compete in that is Rayman. Get it? Because he hasn't got any ARMS? Wow, tough room. After some forays into 3D and a bit of a hiatus, Rayman returned to our screens for 2D platforming fun with Rayman Origins, and completely knocked it out of the park, then followed up with the even more fabulous Rayman Legends, which smashed onto the Switch in a swirl of cartoonish colour. With intuitive and satisfying platforming, lots of co-op, the Kung Foot minigame, and Nintendo-themed outfits for Rayman and Glowbox, this is the stuff our Game Boy-owning past selves would have given their own arms to play, so we're kinda glad they never had the option. Rocket League is proof that some fun things, i.e. cars and sports, are even better when you put them together, and add rockets. Featuring online and local multiplayer, you can play car footy against strangers and or friends as you try to score the most goals in your souped-up vehicles. Plus, the Switch version will come with Nintendo-themed customizations, and oh my god, we've never wanted anything to be real as much as this Samus Rocket car. One nifty feature of Rocket League's online multiplayer on Switch is that it features cross-platform play, which means Switch owners will be able to compete with players on Xbox One, Windows 10 and Steam, giving them an already massive pool of people to play with and against. We get to get a version of Harvest Moon for the Switch, but even when the in-development Light of Hope does arrive, it'll have a hard time beating Stardew Valley, the cult hit farm and life sim that began life on PC last year. In this pixelated marvel, which features a wonderful soundtrack and a fascinating cast of characters, you've inherited a plot of land once owned by your grandfather. But what starts as a straightforward matter of raising up some crops soon becomes more complex, as you weave yourself into the tapestry of a new town. File Stardew Valley under the list of titles you never even thought would one day be portable, but suddenly make so much sense as on-the-go games. So those are some of the non-Nintendo Switch games that suggest Mario & Pal's new machine will fare better in the hyper-competitive gaming world than its last one. What are you excited to play? Let us know, and if you enjoyed this, why not like and subscribe, or watch another video? Go on, do it for Sniper Luigi.